Yes guys, what's up and welcome back. So today I'm just going to go over a couple things I want to say are hard for me at a gym or I don't quite enjoy doing at the moment, but it's not just going to be gym related, it's going to be like diet related and all that kind of stuff. So let's jump into it. All right, so the first thing I really don't enjoy at the moment is the diet. And what I mean by this is I don't exactly know how many calories in a surplus I should be and sticking to a diet because it's hard to say, right, I'm going to eat chicken, broccoli and rice, let's say, if you're trying to be a bodybuilder. It's so hard to stick to just eating chicken, broccoli and rice. So my diet is a hard thing, especially with work. I mean, I work shifts, so one week I'll be on mornings and the next week I'm on late, so... It's really hard to keep a consistency with when I'm eating food and how much food I'm eating because it's hard to have a good meal on a short break at work. So that's one thing I find quite difficult at the moment, but I'm doing the best I can with it and I must be doing something right. I mean, I've put on nine kilos in four months, so I mean, <laughs> gotta be doing something. <laughs> Right, and so I just want to say a lot of people I know find it hard to stay motivated for a gym, but that's not one thing I struggle with. I'm really, really motivated to stay going to a gym. It's something I really want to keep doing and I keep pushing myself to go to a gym. Even on the days I'm not feeling so good, I make sure I go to a gym and just give it half an hour, see how I'm doing. And if I just don't feel good, I can say, well, at least I went for half an hour. That's kind of another thing which is quite difficult, but I wouldn't say I struggle staying motivated because I don't. I'm quite highly motivated in everything I do. And so the second thing I struggle with, and I know quite a lot of people do as well, is I don't feel like I'm putting on any, any size or any muscle. And also I'll look at myself and I'm like, pick things apart like oh god I'm not getting big in my arms or in my chest and my legs are lacking I don't want to call it body dysmorphia because it's not I just don't think I'm happy with how far I've came yet but hopefully one day I'll get to a point where I'll look back and I'll be like oh god I was at this size and now I've put on all this muscle and I can just be like happy with the progress I made don't get me wrong I am extremely happy with how I've came already I mean it doesn't look like I've put on much size but I've had people who've noticed it and I've had quite a lot of people say to me your shoulders are looking wider you're looking a bit broader in the chest and your arms are looking bigger so I mean I must be doing something right but I don't feel like I am so that's one thing I struggle with quite a bit but it will hopefully you'll get dealt with but I, there's someone who keeps saying you will never achieve your dream physique as long as you get halfway there, which I think is true because as long as you keep improving, you should be happy with what you're doing. And the third thing I find quite difficult for me is knowing if I'm on the right split for me. And I mean, by at the moment, I'm doing a full body split with focusing on legs one week, I'm doing a heavy set on legs one week and then I'll do heavier on chest the next week and splitting it like that so then I have one week heavy legs, next week heavy chest so that way I don't exhaust myself on every part of my body but I do push harder than I do last time so that's really all I've got to say on that one. And the fourth thing I find quite difficult is the mental aspect of it. And I don't mean like mentally draining. It's just I find it quite mentally hard not to look and, at other people and think, oh, good, look at what they're all lifting and feel bad about not lifting as much as them. So that's kind of draining mentally. But I mean, we all start somewhere. So as long as you're on a journey and you stick to it, you can look back and be like, oh, I was lifting this. I mean, at the moment, I look back on my bench when I first started the gym 
and now I've got my personal trainer Harry who I got to say is absolutely killing it and is smashing it and really enjoying working with him. He's managed to improve my bench press by 20 kilos in a month of working with him so I mean if you're struggling maybe try getting a personal trainer because they really do help if you get a good one. Alright, and the fifth thing I struggle with, or I wouldn't say struggle with, but it's something I find which is quite annoying, and I annoy myself with it, is I cannot walk past a mirror or anything with a reflective surface without checking myself out. I mean, it's very fain to do, but when when you start noticing you're putting on size and you're starting to see your gains, you notice you're just naturally just look at something shiny and be like oh yeah I, I'm looking good I'm looking a bit bigger and yeah I also quite annoyed with how much I talk about the gym to people who don't go to a gym it's literally all I talk about in work or well not everything but it's quite a lot of the thing I talk about because I'm excited about doing it so I find I annoy quite a lot of people by talking about the gym so much but I mean, everyone's got their own thing they talk about, and I'm sure we all annoy people talking about the things we enjoy doing when we talk too much about it, but... Yeah, I, I know a fifth one was a bit of a silly thing to chuck in, but I think it just makes it a bit better saying five things I find hard about the gym instead of four. But seriously, I just want to give a massive shout out to Marvel Fitness and HB Training Solutions for helping me on this journey because without them I don't think I would have been able to push myself this far and grow as much as I have already and I mean I'm really happy with how far I've come I feel a lot better I feel healthier and honestly I just see my strength go up and up at the moment hopefully in a couple of months when the summer comes out I mean it's quite sunny today but the uh, last couple of days it's been raining but hopefully when it is summertime I'll have a six pack and I can be walking around topless feeling good about myself but we'll see when it comes to it. Anyway guys I just want to say thanks for watching and let me know what you struggle with in the gym or you find hard and drop it in the comment section and I'll reply to you. Anyway have a good afternoon and I'll catch you in the next one.